Hey folks, Jeff here at Back to Country. Appreciate you stopping by the channel today. If you've been following along for a while, you know I like tools. And sometimes I buy tools because I need them. Well, today's no different. What are we talking about? We're talking about power saw, chop saw from Evolution Tools. So you know, uh, probably, I don't know, a year or two ago when I was building this building, I bought a uh, Evolution mag drill and I really loved that drill. It was worked great for what we needed it for. I've used it a few other times on other stuff I've been doing and it always uh, works great, never disappoints. So very happy with the Evolution uh, brand. And uh, today I've got some uh, another project I'm starting up and I need to be able to cut some steel. Now I've got a cutting torch and I've got a plasma torch and I've got a chop saw, uh, abrasive type chop saw. But to be honest, none of those give you a perfect cut. Plasma cutter, for example, can give you a probably a, a really nice cut, but it's never perfect. Even if it's in a straight line, there's still gonna be like little minor ripples, whatever you wanna call it. And sure, you can grind it off, straighten it out, whatever. But, uh, you know, unless you're using like a plasma table or something, doing it by hand, at least for me, uh, I never get that 100% perfect cut. So I think the answer is a chop saw that uses an actual carbide blade. So let's uh, check this thing out, see what's in the box, run it through its numbers, work it hard, and you know, let's see how it works out. So first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna take a look at the box. So this is what we've got. Evolution heavy duty 15 inch metal cutting chop saw with cast aluminum base. And then it lists the same thing in uh, other languages. Now there's one thing right out of the gate I'm going to tell you that uh, I'm not real happy about. So why would I buy a 15 inch saw if I only wanted it to be a 14 inch saw? I mean come on now. What are you thinking guys? I get it. Maybe you're able to reduce the price a little bit that way. But uh, yeah. So that's a fail on uh, behalf of Evolution. If you're gonna sell a 15 inch cut and saw, sell it with a 15 inch blade. And right here you can see, 14 inch blade supplied, 15 inch blade sold separately. Now on the Evolution site, that blade I wanna say was listed for like, uh, gosh, a hundred and like $99 or something on sale for $150 or 149, whatever. I looked on Amazon and I was able to get the 15 inch blade for $123. So I was able to beat the Evolution uh, price by somebody was selling brand new on Amazon uh, from their store, whatever. But still, that's pretty expensive, you know, when you gotta buy a cutting blade when you shouldn't have needed to buy a cutting blade because it should have came with a 15 inch cutting blade to start. So the model number on this is the S380 CPS. Now this is a uh, newer model and they do have a model that is above this one. And from what I could tell looking at the online website, the difference is really the base. So the uh, other model has what I'm gonna call a really advanced miter base. So uh, lots of different mitering features and so forth. Uh, but this one has the basic mitering features and this one's a 15 inch blade. So the only reason, uh, the number one reason I bought this saw over their other saws was because it was 15 inch. The other ones were all listed as 14 inch. I wanted the bigger one. Why? Well, I guess when you see what I'm going to cut, you'll understand. So it's a 15 amp. That's good. So it doesn't require uh, 
you know, basically any uh, outlet's going to be at least 15 amps, so nothing special required there. That's good. It's a heavy bugger at 52 and a half pounds, but uh, it's not something you're going to be lugging around, so that's fine. It's got a 10 foot cord built in. I like that. That's that's definitely a plus. Uh, you know, a lot of them only have a six foot cord, so that extra four feet, to me, that's a plus. And of course, it is the Evolution brand, which, uh, like I say, I'm happy with the brand. Let's see, anything else on this side? As far as uh, shipping weight, 62 and a half pounds. So, again, it ain't lightweight, but it's all good. Uh, here we can read all the same stuff. Uh, accurate, reliable, powerful. Your new chop saw is designed to boost productivity so you can work quicker, safer, accurate. Clean cuts with no unnecessary heat or burrs to remove. Durable construction for added reliability, plus the power to cut through steel up to four times quicker than an embrace abrasive. So that's sweet. Get the most out of your blade. So they've got a video or something on Blade Life. You can go to their website. That's always a plus, because like I told you, them blades ain't cheap. And a three year warranty. That's good. Happy when a company stands behind their product. A lot of times nowadays you have to uh, purchase an additional warranty, you know, when you buy something. I did not purchase the additional warranty for this from the, you know, third party, whatever. Uh, I think that the factory warranty of three years is fair. And generally, if it hasn't broken three years, it's probably going to last. We'll look at it and see. I mean, looking right here, you can see on the picture that it looks like you can replace the brushes on the motor, so uh, that's positive. All right, so let's uh, open up this box and see what it looks like inside. All right, so we've opened up the top of the box and uh, looks like we've got an instruction book, some various hardware looks like uh, for the blade so hopefully this is not going to be a Ikea type deal this is probably the uh, cuttings tray and this of course is for angle iron on the mitering clamp Heavy styrofoam, everything seems to be packed well. Here's the included saw blade, 14 inch. Mm, sad. So like I said, the whole reason I bought this saw is because 15 inch. So. Them giving me the 14 inch blade did me no favors. I had to buy my own 15 inch blade. So there it is, the 15 inch blade. And it basically looks like uh, they are the same, same blade, just one inch bigger. So, fine to have a 14 inch blade, I guess, as a backup, but I'm going to put the 15 inch blade on and uh, even if it gets dull and it needs to be replaced or whatever, I'm going to replace it with another 15 inch blade. So, again, why do you sell a 15 inch saw and only provide a 14 inch blade? That really doesn't make sense to me. Unless, of course, your intent is to make somebody buy that additional blade. And if that's your business practice, it's a poor practice. So, I recommend you fix it. Alright, so we got everything out of the box. That 
that's a big plastic bag covering everything so we'll get that and there's another piece of packing foam so I mean it appears to be packed well I'll give them credit for for doing a uh, quality job packing this thing more foam on that side so I mean they they make sure that it's gonna hold up in shipping that's you know that's good and it's not uh, cheap foam that's quality foam you know one thing I haven't uh, paid attention to is was this made in the USA I don't know let's see if we can find any uh, markings um, made in the PRC People's Republic of China okay so you know as everything it's hard to find anything nowadays that ain't made in China our country needs to find a way to fix that So I'm doing this with one hand, keep in mind, because I'm holding the camera. Of course, I set everything in my way. I'm using my truck tailgate as a place to put this right this second. Okay, so first thing I'm going to say is, it's pretty, real pretty. So, not sure what this did. I mean, it didn't seem to go around anything. Uh, obviously, it's not holding, it's just around the handle. So... Uh, whatever that was for it, it's it failed but nothing's broken nothing's damaged so I guess we're gonna say it's okay so first thing um, that's heavy-duty metal even though it looks like plastic that is not plastic quickly move in your clamp I like it and the threads are good solid acne type threads so yeah I like it the base heavy duty I believe it was uh I don't know if it's aluminum or steel, but it's definitely heavy. So I'm going to say it's probably cast iron or something. Not cheap. Again, this, this handle right here uh, appears to be plastic. This metal uh, lockdown handle, threaded, that's steel. The end cap here is plastic. All this is heavy duty plastic. But it does feel uh, quality. It doesn't feel uh, cheap. This is metal. So it's a good mix of metal and, and some plastic. The cord is definitely a heavy duty cord. It's not, uh, not a cheap cord by any means. The wire feels good and flexible. Just trying to see if, uh, okay, it's a two by 14. So, I don't know what the amperage draw on that is total. You know, it said you need to plug it into a 15 amp, which uh, on a 15 amp, I believe 214 is your is your minimum 14 gauge that you would want to use on a 15 amp uh, so maybe I would prefer if they 
they had a 212 on that instead of a 14 but i'm sure that their engineers have gone over it and decided that that's the appropriate level of protection try to turn this thing a little bit again i'm operating with one hand here so let me set the camera down for a second we'll turn this thing around got some plastic that's covering that even with that plastic little bit of a scratch there but and here a couple of somehow I got a couple of minor rub marks but nothing I'm gonna worry about I'm sweating like crazy it's hot hot in Texas so let's look for how to unlock it there we go so it's got a locking pin on the side over there, I'll show you. Here's the locking pin, so I just pulled that out to unlock it and raise the blade up all the way. Again, quick, quick release and close on the clamp. And, uh, This lock here is for the mitering. So it's nice that they've got uh, presets. So that's your 45. Okay, even has uh, instructions here when cutting round or square tube box section at 45 ensure that the rear fence is in position two or three so you got various uh, positioning and everything for different sizes or whatever I guess and uh, Should be easy enough to return to zero and uh, lock it back down. And then clamp down your steel. So, I mean, quality of construction, no doubt. Uh, Evolution is a quality product. We're like I said, real happy with their the mag drill we bought from them, and now uh, this saw. As far as uh, the quality of the build, I mean, I can't really see any flaws with it. There may be a uh, few things that I'd do better. I mean, number one, like I say, the biggest foul is the 14-inch blade with a 15-inch saw. So. Uh, maybe they sell the exact same model with the 15 inch blade I don't know I didn't see it all I saw was the the model number that I got and uh, it came with the 14 inch uh, blade and I did purchase it from evolution you could also get it through Amazon and I believe it was the exact same price, but uh, in this case, Evolution was actually claiming uh, quicker shipment, so I went with Evolution. They shipped at FedEx, and it did come relatively quick. Uh, I want to say like four business days, maybe. I did have to wait over a weekend, so, you know, that in between, but uh, three or four business days what it took to get here so it's pretty quick all right let's uh get this thing set up and uh now there is supposed to be a wrench 
with this that goes right in here so that must be hidden somewhere we're gonna have to find it it's not in there and I know it wasn't in there so hmm that may be a a missing item we'll have to go through this and see if we can find it but there's supposed to be a hex wrench that comes with this so that you can uh, basically all the bolts and everything that you would have to loosen like this one here it requires that hex wrench and it is supposed to be included with the machine and you can see it's not in its holder so let me look and see what's going on there. All right, so we've searched through the packaging, all the styrofoam, searched the uh, instruction bag, all of our parts that were uh, included, searched the saw underneath everywhere to make sure it wasn't hidden or taped you can see under the base there's no uh, secret hiding place down there there's nothing taped hidden we know that it belongs right there and it is missing the hex key was not provided so that's going to be a quality control issue um you know Maybe they're packaged and, and uh, not just built in China, packaged in China, everything. And we know that stuff from China always has quality control issues. So that's a, uh, that's a negative on this one, is the quality control. We do not have the required hex key uh, to tighten everything up. So I guess the next test will be calling the company and seeing how well their customer service responds and how quick they get us a uh, hex key out here in the meantime i'm gonna have to look through my tools and see if i have one that big all right i do have a handy dandy pittsburgh set from harbor freight you can see based on the rust on it that it's been around a while but it does have a uh, eight millimeter and that appears to be the correct size that fits every screw on there so we can still move forward and make everything work but uh, the company is still gonna have to uh, make good and provide that hex key all right let's see how hard it is to uh, put the blade on this thing we are gonna need the uh, flanges that came so these big ones are for the 15 inch blade so these I guess are little ones for the 14 inch blade so we can pull those off and they appear to be exactly the same so I don't think it matters which one goes on first and uh, we can tell here We've got our arrow that comes down telling us the uh, direction of the rotation and the blade has the same arrow as telling us for direction so that makes it easy. We should not be able to uh, screw that up. over the arbor 
our other flange and then our Allen head screw, hex screw, whatever you want to call it with that washer on there and then we will tighten it up with our hex wrench and that's how easy it is to put the blade on nothing to it okay so one thing I was wondering about before right here you've got a, a button which is a blade lock so you can turn your blade until that pushes in and then hold it in and that locks your blade so that you can tighten the screw on the blade appropriately good to know all right folks i wouldn't say i abuse my power tools but i definitely say i use my power tools so this is what i wanted to cut this is a uh, four inch by eight inch angle of half inch steel so the uh, max recommended thickness on these saws is half inch steel so we're definitely going to push it to its limit now the throat uh, is just barely over eight inches so this piece is too big it didn't uh, fit perfectly but let's see what happens we're going to try to cut it anyway I don't think I'm going to be able to cut it in a single pass because of the size issue but we're going to go ahead and see how much it will cut this should not be a simple uh, easy cut for this saw it should uh, should work and we're also going to see uh, how well our generator handles it as well because uh, the generator is also running the RV at the same time so let's see what happens here if we do okay so we didn't uh, we didn't blow it I don't think but it did push the generator to the max So it did actually trip it so we uh, running the air conditioning in the RV and that at the same time was too much so I just unplugged the RV temporarily and let's try this again It did handle that whole piece no problem and uh, I gotta be honest that saw didn't uh, struggle at all so if we look at you know our cut edge we can see it's you know got the striations from the blade but it's a smooth cut one little uh, maybe deeper indentation on this part here but overall I mean that's a that's a perfect cut that's half inch thick four by eight angle and 
it cut that honestly like going through butter it didn't struggle at all it didn't strain so quality of the saw i mean just the fact that it made that cut i'm impressed it's built well it uh everything appears to be heavy duty i like what they've done with it i've reviewed or not personally reviewed but i mean looked at online reviews and stuff of some of the older models they have made a lot of improvements with this one and uh overall i think it's going to be a great uh saw stay tuned uh for our next project video where we'll actually be uh cutting some pieces of steel like this and uh, building something doing a little fabricating and welding and uh, we're going to put something together with it so uh, stay tuned for that video but as far as our out of the box review you know a few negatives the big negative of course is the 14 inch blade with a 15 inch saw that in my opinion is kind of a fail uh, now like I say if they sell another version of this exact same saw with the 15 inch blade and I just didn't see it somehow then you know okay I guess but uh, why they sell a 15 inch saw with a 14 inch blade is beyond me so that of course is a negative the other issue quality control issue of not having a hex key will uh, We'll see what happens with that. I've already sent them an email uh, from my main order. It said, any questions, you know, click here and, and went to info or something. And I told them that it didn't have the hex key. So let's see how long it takes them to get back with me and, and correct that issue. I'm sure they will. I have no doubt. And, uh, yeah, those are pretty much the only uh, strikes that I'm giving it. Everything else is a positive. Happy with the overall quality. Amazing cut. Uh, you know, the fact that it cut that huge piece of steel like butter, that's pretty sweet. All right, here we go, making our third cut. We flipped the steel over this time to see if it makes any difference this way. But here we go. It still cut pretty much like butter, but uh, it was definitely harder on the saw when it cut this flat portion because it's cutting more uh, width at once. So you kind of could just feel that it was working a little harder, but it still did not struggle at all to cut that. And you can see our edge here. And this is not hot at all, by the way. Not even warm. Feels uh, normal temperature. Uh, maybe a little bit warm, but uh, hard to tell because it's like, you know, almost 100 degrees outside. So, but overall, I mean, you can touch it no problem. And it's even cool in this area. So, doesn't create much heat at all. And, uh, like I say, you can see the uh, striations of the cut, but uh, they're not a big deal at all. I could not make a cut that smooth with my plasma cutter. And trying to do that with the abrasive cut off, whew, if we could even get through it, it'd take days. <laughs> Bandsaw would take forever as well, so uh, 
that's quick and easy just the way we wanted it all right folks just a little update on customer service so we sent a uh, email or yeah an email to evolution within two hours they replied to the email asked for our address and the serial number of the the machine and they sent us the key it arrived two days later via FedEx that's good customer service y'all and this saw continues to be awesome Well, folks, that's our overall review of the uh, Evolution cutoff saw, uh, what was it, Three S380 CPS, the S380 CPS Evolution cutoff saw. That's our overall review. That's our opinion of it. Uh, stay tuned for our video actually using it. You'll see more in depth, but overall, I think it's a great product. It's going to be a great saw and real impressed with how it cuts steel. So, as always, folks, really appreciate you watching. If you haven't done so already, uh, please go hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, uh, leave a comment, share the video out to your friends, all that kind of stuff. That's how you help our uh, channel grow. It's absolutely free to you, and it uh, helps keep us motivated to keep going and doing more of these videos. Till the next time, thanks for watching. Take care. God bless. We'll see you on the next one.